This is an example video for factoring a perfect square trinomial with leading coefficient 1. In this topic, we see perfect square polynomials where our leading coefficient is 1. We can factor these using the same method we used to factor quadratic expressions with leading coefficients of 1, and later on, we will see what makes a perfect square polynomial special. Quadratic expressions are written in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c. To factor a quadratic, we want to find out what two numbers multiply to a times c and also add to b. Let's take a look at an example. v squared minus 8v plus 16. To get it into factored form, which will be v plus or minus some number times v plus or minus some number, first we identify a, b, and c. We can see that a is 1, and that's how all of the problems in this topic will be because we're dealing with leading coefficients of 1. b is negative 8, and c is 16. We want to find what two numbers will multiply to a times c and add to b. a times c is going to be 1 times 16, which is 16. So we want to figure out two numbers that multiply to 16 and add to negative 8. We can first make a list of pairs of factors that multiply to 16, and from this list we can determine which pair of numbers will add to negative 8. It looks like negative 4 and negative 4 both multiply to 16 and add to negative 8, so these will be the numbers that we put in our factored form of the original polynomial. We can see that v squared minus 8v plus 16, when factored, is equal to v minus 4 times v minus 4. But we also notice that v minus 4 and v minus 4 are the same quantity, so we can rewrite this as v minus 4 squared. That's the special part about perfect square trinomials. We are always able to write them in factored form as some quantity squared. Let's run through another example. y squared plus 10y plus 25. Since this time our variable is y, our factored form will look like y plus or minus some number times y plus or minus some number. We identify a, b, and c as 1, 10, and 25. a times c is 1 times 25, which is 25. So now we want to find two numbers that multiply to 25 and add to 10. We can make a list of pairs of factors that multiply to 25, and from this list, we need to find which pair of numbers also adds to 10. We can see that 5 and 5 add to 10, so these will be the numbers we put into our factored form of the original polynomial. Like in the first example, our two factors, y plus 5 and y plus 5, are the same quantity so we can write this as y plus 5 squared. Now, if we look at our factored forms for both example 1 and example 2, we notice that the numbers within the factored quantities are equal to the square root of our c value from the original polynomial. Also, the sign is the same as the sign of the b value from the original polynomial. In example 1, the b value was negative 8, so we have a minus 4 here. In example 2, the b value is positive 10, so we have a plus 5 here. This method for factoring perfect square trinomials with leading coefficients of 1 is similar to the method for factoring other quadratics with leading coefficients of 1, but our answers can be written slightly differently due to the special properties of perfect square trinomials.